Welcome everyone to Crafting with Julia. If you're new to my channel, my name is Julia and I'm so glad you tuned in today. Hey guys, I am so excited for today's video. I went to a garage sale this weekend and I picked up these two lamps for $5 each. Is that not incredible? Look at these lamps. Other than the fact that this is ugly, these lamps are in great shape. I mean, just the shades alone are very expensive. So that's why I'm super excited. So I'm gonna redo these lamps. You know what they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure? That is so true. I'm gonna redo these lamps and I'm gonna show you how I redo them. I have so many thoughts in my head. I have so many different ways that I wanna do it. So I have to figure out which is the one that I want to accomplish and we're gonna to get to it. Okay, I'm ready to paint my lamp. I decided to go with a textured paint and the color my base color is going to be annie sloan chalk paint in the cocoa so what i did was to get texture i mixed one cup of paint to a half a cup of baking soda and this is what i got this is the mixture so it's nice and thick and that's going to be my texture and i'm going to, just going to paint the entire lamp that color Okay, this is going to give it a nice sandy gritty texture so this is my base color and um, I'm going to go over it with a lighter color um, again I'm going to use um, well I'm going to use Rust-Oleum's chalk paint in the chiffon cream I, I love that color So I'm just going to go ahead and paint the entire lamp and I want to make sure my brush strokes are going this way um, so I'm going to keep it all consistent. And I'm using a chip brush and this helps me get in, in all the nooks and crannies. I just pounce it in there so I get good coverage. See on something like this you really need a chip brush to go in there and pounce. So now that my lamp is done, I'm going to paint the finial. Let's not forget that. I want it to be the same color as the lamp. Okay, now that my lamp is all painted, I'm going to wait for it to dry and then we'll put on the second coat. So now that I have them painted and they're dry, now I'm going to um, stipple it so that I get that rough surface. So again, I put some uh, baking soda and paint and chalk paint and I mixed it around and now with my chip brush, 
I'm just going to pounce on it. Okay, just like that, all over. Load the brush and just pounce. Let it be thicker in some areas. Okay, it's gonna be uneven. Go over any areas that you missed. I truly hope you're enjoying this video. If you already subscribed to my channel, I want to thank you. And if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you will. Also, I would love for you to join me at my Creative Community Facebook page. That's where you can post your creations and perhaps inspire others or just be inspired. And if I've inspired you to create something, I would love to see it posted there. Also, you can connect with me on Instagram and Facebook. All these links are in the description below. Okay, just keep turning the lamp. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to continue to do this on both lamps and I'll be back. So now that my paint is all dry, I have a nice texture to it. I don't know if you can see that. See the nice texture to it? I'm going to dry brush a layer of Rust-Oleum chalked in the linen white. Now I'm just going to dry brush this on very lightly just so that the texture shows through. So I'm just going to take my brush and very lightly I'm going to go over the lamp. See what I'm doing here? I want to get the corners because I want that to be a little darker. All the edges I want to be a little darker. Okay, and it's better to go lighter in the beginning because you could always go darker, but you can't take it off. So you just want to lightly brush. Okay, so I'm going to go all around the lamp, getting my corners, getting the raised areas that I want to be a little bit more whiter. Okay, just like that. And load your brush every once in a while. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you um, like my videos, I would love you to subscribe to my channel. If you already are a subscriber, then I, I'd like to thank you and I thank you for um, coming back and, and watching. Um, also, I would like for you to join my face group, um, Facebook group that I started. Um, it's called Crafting with Julia's 
creative community, um, that's where you can post your creations. Um, if I've inspired you to make something, I would love to see you post it there. Um, that's, that's really what I love to do. I love to inspire people and see um, their take on what I've made. So uh, that description, that, uh, I'm sorry, that link is in the description uh, below if you'd like to join. Uh, also, if you want to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, those links are in the description as well. Okay, I think I like that texture. I don't want to go too heavy handed. I like the way that came out. I love the top, how that looks. So now I'm ready to um, do some embellishing. Stay tuned.
So I've decided to embellish my lamp with my new um, sunflower mold from Iron Orchid Designs. I love this mold. Sunflowers are my favorite, favorite flower. So I was so excited to get this mold. Um, it's called, uh, well, this is the company, Iron Orchid Designs, and it's the sunflower mold. Oh, here. If you can see that, it's called Sunflowers. And it's this great mold. It has the whole sunflower. It has um, the bloom of the sunflower. It has a, a little uh, a baby sunflower and the leaves. It has a stem. Uh, it's a great mold. Um, so I don't know if any of you are familiar with these molds, but you start out with, um, I want to put some cornstarch in the mold so that when I take the clay out, it will be easy to remove. So I'm going to take a little bit of cornstarch, just regular cornstarch, and with a paintbrush, I'm going to paint it in. And this will uh, make the um, removal easier. It will, it will come right out. Uh, if not, you really have to fight with it and you might ruin your design. And I don't want to put too much because I want it to adhere to the mold. So I'm just going to go around very lightly. Just give it a little dusting of the cornstarch. I don't know what it is about sunflowers, but I absolutely love them. I guess because it's such a cheery flower. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And now I'm going to be using some air dry clay. I got this from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box below. So you just take the clay, warm it up in your hands and you take pieces of the clay and start to spread it out into the mold. So just take pieces of the clay and we're going to spread it out. So just keep press it into the mold sure you get it all nice in there. Press firmly. Take some more clay if you need it. Flatten it out and just keep pressing. I'm beginning to love Iron Orchid designs. They have so many nice molds. They have transfers. Um, they have um, stamps. I have many of their stamps. It's it's the quality is is unbeatable. It's it's such great quality, and they're really beautiful designs. Okay, so once you have all your clay on there, now what you're going to do is just press it down and pull it off. Press and pull, just like that. And make sure all of your edges are sharp, otherwise you'll have 
jagged edges, which you don't want. You want the clay to be flush with the design. Okay, so now once you're happy with the way it looks, see all my edges are nice and sharp. Now what you're going to do is you are going to just bend the mold and it should come right out. Just bend the mold and it comes right out. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my God, I love it. I just love it. So now I am going to put it on my lamp and I think I want to put it, I'm going to put it on wet because I want it to adhere to the crease there. See, I want it to bend. So I'm going to put it on wet. Normally I would just let it dry, but I'm going to use um, Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Wood Glue. And I want to get all my edges because I don't want the edges coming up. So you want to make sure you get all the edges like this, okay? This is gonna look so beautiful. I can't wait to see the finished result. Okay, now that I've got all my little petals done, I'm just gonna give a nice coat of the glue in the center. Okay, you want to get a lot of glue in there. You want it to stay on. Okay, like that. And now I'm just going to put it onto my lamp. Just like that. Make sure it's in the curve. Make sure all of my petals are down. And of course, I am going to lay this now uh, I'm going to lay it down because um, I don't want this to slide off. I want it to set. So let's see how nice that looks. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my God, I love it. So let's let this dry. I'm going to lay it down and let it dry. And then we'll come back. Um, I'm thinking of, well, I originally I was going to paint it. I was going to paint it the... Um, the cocoa and then go over it with the white but I'm not sure I think I just like it um, natural like this I don't know I'll decide after it dries okay so let's get to it we'll come right back so I want to paint the lampshades because uh, that color is uh, not the right color for the lamps that I'm redoing so I'm gonna spray paint them and I'm gonna be using rust-oleum chalked in the linen white uh, and today is raining out, so I am going to use my Wagner spray paint tent to spray indoors. Uh, this is a great little tent because I can continue to do my projects even if it's raining out. I love this tent. Um, I spray indoors and of course I wear a uh, mask and I will put all of the links um, in the description below. I got this on Amazon as well as the mask. Uh, you always want to protect your face. And um, this is actually what the mask looks like. It's like a gas mask. Actually does the, does the trick because um, you want to keep safe. Okay, so let me spray paint that and I'll be back.
Well, I've reassembled my lamps and this is the finished product. I just love the way they turned out. Big difference from when I bought them. I, I love the sunflower um, mold. I think it adds a great touch. And I really hope that you uh, had fun watching this video because I had a lot of fun making it. I hope that um, you'll join me next time for the next video and happy crafting.